Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Adrenaline by CGE. The game plays three to five players, takes roughly about an hour to play, and is for ages 12 and up. And in the game Adrenaline, you're playing a fast-paced first-person shooter. Now, that sounds counterintuitive, but that is how it works. You're going to gather a character, a character board, a certain number of uh, charge cards that you'll be utilizing to not only place your character down on the board, but then, of course, as bonus actions. You'll have three actions in the game, and two two actions you can use each time you start your turn. Moving, collecting objects, and of course shooting. Shooting with what? Well, with weaponry. You'll be taking cards from the board, gaining new abilities that you'll be able to utilize, whether it be a charged cannon, or perhaps napalm, or maybe you're going to use a pistol that ricochets off of the side of a wall. And your objective, to defeat your opponents, to do the most damage possible to gain the most amount of points. And as you do more damage and gain more points, eventually the game will come to a close. The last player dying being the last respawn available with these handy dandy little skulls here and whoever has the most points based on who killed the most how much damage you did and of course the types of cards that you have will be the winner of the game adrenaline a uh, very very popular game that uh, i guess i'm reviewing over a long period of time it even has the dice tower seal of, seal of approval well let's go ahead and talk about how the game is set up how to play the game and then of course what i think of the game and uh, whether or not you'd like to pick it up down below to begin setting up the game Adrenaline, you're going to go ahead and take two sides of the game board and put it down onto the table. You'll choose which side you'd like to play for the uh, larger player variant or for the smaller player variant. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and take a character board for each player. Each player is going to have their own unique color as well as their own unique colored miniature. And then they're going to gain a certain number of damage tokens based on that color. You're going to give each player three cubes, one of each color, and then two additional cubes of each color will be set aside in a supply. Give each player two charges charge cards that they'll be determining which one they would like to discard to choose their spawning location and which one they want to keep for the remainder of gameplay and then their action board set it to the base side not the one with a lot of tokens or symbols but the one with a very little amount and place it attached to their character board the first player is going to go ahead and get the first player token to place that in front of that player and then shuffle all the cards for weaponry shuffle them up and then deal them out in the three spawn locations that they will be able to be taken from all of course the charge cards as well will be shuffled up and placed in their location as well and then based on the amount of time you'd like to play the game how long how many rounds or how many deaths i should say will determine your game time you'll take these little skulls and place them down indicated in the rule book then of course you're going to have these supply tokens or uh, supply yeah supply tokens and you'll place them down in each of the spaces on the board that has a square they're square tokens you can't miss it set aside the rest of them after you make sure you shuffle them up good and then you're pretty much ready to begin the game there's a bunch of extra little things like point tokens that you can go ahead and set aside which will be used for whenever you defeat an opponent and of course at the end of the game it's pretty simple now i'm not gonna beat a dead horse in explaining exactly how the game is played there's a ton of videos for that so we're gonna go ahead and just breeze through the idea of gameplay and it's pretty Pretty simple. You'll discard one of those two charge cards and place your character in a spawn location. The spawn location is indicated by a spawn location uh, symbol and it's got like a little character with a little symbol that shows a respawn. Place your character on that space. Each player will do that in turn order and then the starting player will begin. And that player gets three actions to choose from and can do two of them. They can do them the same action twice or they can do any two separate actions. It's really up to you. And it tells you on your little board here. You can move three times. You can move once and pick up an item or well, such as like one of these little special bonuses and you can also go ahead and take one of these uh, shots that you would like um, also of course when you place your little tokens on the, the board here you'll flip them over to indicate what type of items or equipment you'll be able to gather they're basically resources that you can use in order to resupply your guns ammo and cards you can use later throughout the game and after you've taken those two actions, you'll pass. And the next player will get a chance to go, and the next player will get a chance to go, and you'll just keep going. Players are going to die. You're going to get points based on if you did the first damage, if you did the most damage, and if you did the second most damage. And when that happens, a character will die. You'll take one of these skulls off this track here, place it on that player's board, scoring an indicated number of points, and then you'll get less points and less points as you keep defeating that player, kind of making you have to kill multiple players in a different order so that you can gain as many points as possible. When all the skulls are gone, then the game is going to trigger an ending, and uh, the person who has the most points at the end, including who killed the most people, there's like special extra bonuses you can get, is the winner of the game. How do you kill people? Well, there's cards, and uh, these cards are going to be in certain locations on the board, and when you go to a specific location, you can take the grab action and choose one of these and put it into your hand. You can have a total of three of these at any point in time, and you can play them. When you play them, they hit the board, and they don't come up until the end of the turn, and as long as you can pay the cost on the card. 
You'll also be able to pay a certain number, number of costs to gather the cards as well. So you have to gather the currency to gather the card and of course to reload the card into your hand. Some weapons will have bonus abilities that you can utilize provided you can pay for them and then based on the type of weapon it will do a certain number of damage. The average amount of damage? One to about four damage. Three being very good, four being difficult, and then two being the average. And you're moving around the board, you're firing on other players, and you're trying to uh, reduce their health to as little as possible. And as their health it goes lower and lower, basically what happens is they gain new abilities and new unique in aspects. One unique aspect is basically when they take a certain number of damage, their second damage, their abilities will get stronger. So instead of moving once and collecting, you'll move twice and collect. And then when you take a certain number of damage again, you will be able to move and shoot. And then uh, finally you'll die. And of course, there's also overkill damage. There's a couple other things like you can mark your opponents, which means that the next time you you take they take damage from you, you'll put those marks down onto their board and they'll take additional damage based on those marks. But for the most part, it's pretty simple. Uh, the game is going to trigger like a kind of special ending where everybody's going to flip over their board and get an extra round with some super powerful abilities. Instead of just moving and uh, picking up, you'll be able to now move, uh, pick up and shoot or move four times or move twice and pick up. It tells you on here what they do and of course there's specifically a unique action for one specific player i think it's the player who last shot and that's it that's how the game works move around the board shoot 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 do as much damage kill as many people as possible <gasps> censor that uh make people lie down as much as possible and then uh gain victory points by defeating all the players in the game adrenaline it's a fast-paced action shooter with pretty straightforward rules and mechanics and it's really easy to understand and play but do i enjoy the game let's let's go ahead and take a look at it when Getting into Adrenaline, I wasn't sure what to think. It's a game I've been wanting to play for a long time, and so I asked for this game to be sent to me so that I could take a look because people were ranting and hooting and hollering and raving about this game, and I can say with utmost certainty, I like it, but I don't like it for three players. I enjoyed it four, and I enjoyed it five players. I want to see as many possible players in this game because that gives me more choice. When I feel like I'm playing with just two other players, I go back and forth and back and forth to kill each one individually so I can get as many points as possible. But with more targets presents more choice and the ability to inflict more damage. A lot of cards, you're specifically going on to do three damage to an individual player, but a lot of them involve doing multiple damage to multiple players in different locations. And with only two other players on the board, it prevents it presents a huge challenge. And so I don't really think this is a three player game. If you're looking for a three player game, no, no. But four and five player games, this becomes an action shooter with a lot of choice and a lot of ways to do additional damage that you wouldn't see as being possible. Uh, as you're gonna have certain cards in here that you're gonna wanna choose based on your player count. Obviously with more players, something that has napalm that can fire a bunch of different locations is gonna work perfectly for you or a chain gun. But if you're playing with less players, like three players, you're pretty much gonna wanna go with something like uh, the Heat Seeker, something that can just straight up do some three damage to another player or a Vortex Cannon. cannon. These things can like push players back spaces and do additional damage and you can combo wombo combo off of each of the guns that you use you can use your weapons but they run out of resources so it's constantly about gathering the resources you need picking up your weapons and firing your guns and if you have as much resources as you need um, you're gonna have to pick the targets that are most likely going to be close to death your objective is kill points uh, you want to end the target's existence, and you also want to be able to do as much damage to them as possible. If you need to do overkill damage, there's certain instances where that is going to be important, and there is a variety of ways to do that, especially with marking your opponents, signifying that you want to do damage to them. It kind of prevents players from really wanting to pick on a target that they know you have more points on, that you're more likely to destroy, but if you don't go for them, they have more of an opportunity to catch up. The game is balanced in the sense that no one is going to be picked on individually because as they get ended over and over again, they start being worth less points and you wanna go for the players who have more points. So if you start doing a lot of damage in this game, expect to become the target. It's close quarters, which means that's very likely that a player is going to hit you by the time your turn is up and your next turn comes around. And when you die, you'll respawn, you'll draw a card from the deck here, you will discard one of the cards in your hand, and then based on that color is where you'll spawn on the spawn points on the board. Bigger board for more players works better in the game in my opinion, and the fact that it's completely replayable over and over again with a ton of unique weapons that you'll be able to utilize makes the game a ton of fun. If you want something fast paced, simple to learn, easy to play, this is a good solid game for those of you who know people who like FPS shooters. It's going to get them more involved in gaming because there's a bunch of strategy injected into this pretty st simple straightforward game about moving around the board and shooting people. 
Uh, and like I said, it has high quality. This game has beautiful board, beautiful miniatures. They all work very well. You can paint them. It works very well with, with all the different tokens that you're going to be utilizing in the game. The plastic is great. These little skulls remind me of other games that they have them in, but works nice as well. Got the cubes. You got the little damage tokens, which will signify your specific damage as opposed to somebody else's. And I just really, really enjoy the feel and quality of this game. So, Quality, good. Artwork, excellent. Great. It reminds me of those robot fighting TV shows I used to watch, but now you're playing with these characters instead. They're kind of like in these big mech type suits and they're shooting each other. And then of course it reminds me of those COD type games where you're firing against your opponents and trying to find the lowest valued health person who can, you can do the most damage to to take them out. And uh, the weaker opponents that you're not going to be able to deal with, let your opponent who already did the most damage to them finish them off so you can work on a target that works best for you. And if you're playing with four or five players, perfect game to play. Five players being my favorite in this game. Three players I didn't much care for and just kind of went back and forth with who I had to choose and how I could kind of evade them. It was almost impossible to evade your opponents. They're going to get to you on your next turn and you may die, you may not. It's really based on the amount of damage they do and the type of combinations. But with the amount of choice, this is a like, narrowly normally balanced game, a medium to medium light style game that's definitely going to be see replayability, especially when I'm jumping on that five player base bandwagoning with my friends, my guy friends who really, really enjoy the COD and a one gal or two as well. Uh, but yes, Adrenaline, a solid fun game. If you haven't played this game, all the things they say are true about it when you're playing the four or five player variants of this game and all the quality and art is brilliant. I really do recommend this game when playing with those player groups. Thank you guys so much for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Adrenaline by CGE. If you're interested in picking up the game, there is a link down below in the description, hopefully affiliated if there is one on Amazon, where you can buy the game from them and try it for yourself. Uh, we might play this on a live stream as well, so you can go ahead and take a look at that when we do, and I will post a link down below if we do do that, because this was a game that I think will work pretty well for a stream. You can also go ahead and check out the website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, kickstarter lists, and more. Subscribe by hitting the subscribe button button down below and the notification button as well. And if you'd like, click the like button or dislike if you dislike me because I talk fast and I have really, really long hair. And that's a, that's, a, that's a thing now apparently. I have comments where people don't like the long hair. I apologize, maybe I'll get a haircut. Uh, if, I get, if this video gets 10 dislikes. <laughs> oh no, I might actually get 10 dislikes. Uh, never mind. yeah, sure, why not? All right, thank you guys for watching. Ah uh, oh man, don't, don't make me cut my hair.